Welcome to the how-to section of the Wheelwood Disc Brake website. In this video, we'll show you how to install front and rear disc brakes on a 2009 Chevy 1500 truck. Begin assembly by bolting the hat to the rotor through the back side of the rotor using the supplied washers and bolts. Unless you have previous experience assembling our kits, we recommend that you use hand tools for this operation as opposed to the power tool used in this video. Using an alternating sequence, torque the rotor bolts to 25 inch pounds. Remove the lug nuts and lift off the wheel. Loosen the screw and remove the clip from the bracket that holds the original equipment rubber brake fluid hose. Disconnect the hose and immediately connect one end of the wheelwood braided stainless steel flex line to reduce spillage. Tighten until snug and reinstall the clip. Using the impact driver, our breaker bar and socket, break the caliper mounting bolt loose from the back side of the rotor and remove the stock caliper. Break the hat locator screw loose using the impact screwdriver, then remove the screw and slide the rotor off the hub. Use a wire brush to clean the hub assembly so the new rotor can seat perfectly against it. Test fit the wheelwood caliper mounting bracket. The mounting tab on some models might have to be ground down for the bracket to fit properly. Grind as necessary until the tabs match the bracket shape. Slide the caliper bracket mounting bolts through the OEM caliper mounting ears from the inboard side. Initially place two shim washers on each bolt between the mounting ear and the bracket. Install the wheelwood caliper mounting bracket to the OEM mounting ears on the outboard side, making sure it fits squarely against the mounting ears. Tighten and torque the bolts to 70 foot-pounds. The bottom section of the dust shield needs to be cut away to allow clearance for the new hat and rotor. Install the hat rotor assembly over the hub assembly, making sure it fits flush against the axle hub flange. Temporarily secure with three lug nuts. Place two spacers on each stud between the bracket and the caliper. Initially place two shim washers on each stud between the bracket and the caliper. Coat the inlet fitting with Teflon tape and screw into the caliper with a 90 degree angle in the up position parallel to the length of the caliper. This kit includes distinct right and left hand calipers with the bleed screws pointing up. Mount the caliper onto the brackets so that the largest pistons are at the rotor exit end of the caliper in relation to the direction of rotor rotation. View the rotor through the top opening of the caliper. The rotor should be centered in the caliper, adjust as necessary by adding or subtracting shims between the bracket and the caliper mounting tabs. Secure the caliper with the washers and mounting lock nuts. Tighten and then torque to 47 foot-pounds. Insert the brake pads into the caliper with the friction material facing the rotor. Check that the top of the brake pad is flush with the outside diameter of the rotor. If not, adjust by adding or subtracting shims between the bracket and the caliper. Secure the brake pads with a pad clip retainer. Install the center bridge pad retainer tubes and bolts. Tighten the lock nuts using an Allen wrench and open end wrench R socket. Connect the other end of the wheelwood braided stainless steel flex line to the caliper fitting. Route along the same path as the OEM holes and secure the flex line as necessary to prevent contact with moving suspension, brake or wheel components. Install the wheel and torque the lug nuts to manufacture specifications. Begin assembly by bolting the hat to the rotor through the back side of the rotor using the supplied washers and bolts. Apply Loctite 271 to the mounting bolts, slide them through the washers and thread into the hat. Using an alternating sequence, tighten and then torque the rotor bolts to 140 inch pounds. Remove the lug nuts and lift off the wheel. Use an impact driver or breaker bar and socket. Break loose the caliper mounting bolts from the back side of the rotor. Lift off the caliper and keep the fluid line holes in the vertical position to avoid spilling brake fluid that remains in the holes. Slide off the rotor from the hub. Clean the hub assembly with a wire brush and remove any nicks, burrs, or grease that may interfere with the installation of the new brake components. The dust shield needs to be trimmed on both the top and bottom openings for the wheelwood caliper mounting bracket to fit properly. Test fit the bracket and trim as necessary. Slide the original equipment caliper mounting bolts through the caliper mounting bracket from the inboard side and place the two shim washers on each bolt. 
coat the mounting bolts with Loctite 271 and secure the bracket to the inboard side of the caliper mounting ears. Make sure the bracket fits squarely against the mounting ears. Tighten and torque to manufacturer's specifications. Disconnect the OEM brake fluid holes where it connects to the brake hard line. Immediately connect one end of the Wheelwood braided stainless steel flex line to the brake hard line to minimize fluid loss. Install the hat rotor assembly over the hub. Secure with three lug nuts to keep the assembly in place while continuing with the installation. Coat the inlet fitting with Teflon tape and screw into the caliper. Tighten until snug. Initially place two shim washers on each stud between the bracket and the caliper. This kit includes distinct right and left hand calipers. With the bleed screws pointing up, mount the caliper onto the bracket so that the largest pistons are at the rotor exit end of the caliper in relation to the direction of rotor rotation. Secure the caliper with washers and lock nuts and torque the caliper mounting lock nuts to 47 foot pounds. View the rotor through the top opening of the caliper. The rotor should be centered in the caliper. If not, adjust by adding or subtracting shims between the bracket and the caliper mounting tabs. Insert the brake pads into the caliper with a friction material facing the rotor. Install the pad retainer pins and secure with the pin retainer clips. Connect the other end of the Wheelwood braided stainless steel flex line to the caliper fitting and tighten. Secure the line as necessary to prevent contact with moving suspension, brake, or wheel components. Install the wheel and torque the lug nuts to manufacture specification.